Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited, we're gonna go through and do September favorites. So October is on Thursday, it's already the end of September, but I'm super excited because Hocus Pocus comes on October 1st and that is my favorite Halloween movie. But for now we're gonna go through and talk about the things I've been loving this month of September. I have some makeup stuff here, but I also have some other things that I feel like you need in your life. So if you could like this video, um, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload. And yeah, let's just get into these favorites. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the makeup stuff first and then I'll go through the other miscellaneous things that I think you need. So first off, I have the Lash Princess, the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. So I have been really loving this mascara. I'll show you what the wand looks like. But um, I have a issue with like my top lashes are long, so I don't ever have any issue with getting mascara on those. But my bottom lashes is the one thing. For some reason, they are non-existent, and <laughs> this mascara really helps with um, making them show up a whole lot more. And then two. I, the wand can't be too big because usually when I try and put mascara on my lower lashes, I usually end up getting it on my actual eye. So this does not do that. So this is a really good mascara. And it's, like I said, you can get it at Ulta and it's affordable. Um, I think it's like 4 or $5. It's really, really inexpensive. And it's really good for the price. It works really well. And of course, I love it also on my top lashes. I have it on today. So I use it to blend my natural lashes with my falsies or I just wear it on its own and it works great. So I love this. Next I have the, I cannot rave about these enough. I just have the two colors that I wear the most, the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. I wear the uh, Swerve, which is the black and Honeydew, which is a nude color. Um, and they have every color in the rainbow. Um, and I, I think I own almost all of them. And these stay on all day, they don't smudge. They are very, very easy to apply. They, they're definitely a cream liner because they glide on really, really easily. They don't drag in your, I know a lot of uh, eyeliners do drag when you try to put them on. And I mean, you're putting it that close to your eyes. So, um, but these do not do that. But And I love these. And like I said, they're very affordable. And they have them in every color, but these are just my go-tos. These are the ones that I wear almost every day either the black or the nude, depending on what my makeup look, uh, what makeup look I'm doing at the time, but right now I have on the black one, so these are amazing. Next I have the, okay, so this, this palette, like I said, is very pricey, but it is worth it. If you want to splurge on any eyeshadow palette, I would recommend this. Like I said, this is the first Natasha Denona palette, it's upside down. This is the first Natasha Denona palette that I've owned and I, I can't now I can't justify the $130 price tag but this one is amazing I use this all the time and like I said this is what it looks like in the inside these are what the shades look like it's nice uh, it's a neutral palette it's a cool tone palette which I'm a new I'm a neutrals girl but I also like warm tone palettes but this I can work with this very well and it's it's easy to work with the shades are very blendable it's it's just amazing all around. So if you could, if you want to splurge on any palette, I would definitely recommend this one. So this one's amazing. And I'm gonna swatch some of the colors. The, like I said, the, sh the shimmers and the mattes, they're all really buttery. I'm gonna swatch some of them for you. Ooh. These shades. Yeah, that's some of the shades in the palette and that's just a couple of them but like I said these are really buttery really easy to work with and that palette just all around is amazing I use it almost every day unless I'm doing a um yeah I use that palette every day unless I'm doing some kind of like major glam look but other than that that's my go-to yeah, like I said it's it's definitely worth the $65 price tag so like I said if you want to splurge on any palette get that one Next is my Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. I have this on today too. If I could wear one product for the rest of my life, it would be highlighter. Because like people say, I like to be seen from the gods. So this right here is amazing. It's the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. And this is what it looks like. 
and these shades this is like a high-end palette these shades are buttery they last all day they're amazing you can like I said you can see it from the heavens and that's what they look like very easy to apply easy to work with and my highlighter is my favorite favorite product to use and for essence essence is an affordable brand it's a drug technically a drugstore brand and those sh those highlighters work like high-end highlighters they're amazing but and I love them so I would recommend that palette but that's what I've been wearing almost every day and like I said I have it on my face today and it's it's my go-to next I have the ColourPop lippy scrub so these two products go hand in hand. I have my ColourPop Lippy Scrub and my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So my lips are, like I said, my all of my skin is dry, but my lips get extra dry. And then of course, when I try and put on any kind of matte lipstick, if my lips are dry, it's not gonna look good at all. So before I do my makeup, I go in with the lip scrub and then the lip mask. And this is, uh, this is amazing. It's, this one's in the shade by the bu bushel, but I think they have plenty more. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it, sm it smells amazing. It works amazing. I just take it and uh, take it with a toothbrush and just scrub my lips and it gets all of the dead skin off and my lips feel brand new even just after using this. But after I but after I use that, I do add the Laneige sleeping mask. Yes, this is a lip sleeping mask, but I do put this on during the day. Um, if I notice that my lips are extra dry, I'll put it on at night and in the morning, my lips feel like they're brand new. But I also put this on prior to doing my makeup. And this is a huge bottle. Like I said, it's expensive, but I mean, I use this every day and I haven't even made it halfway through. And you don't need a lot of it. Uh, I layer more on at night than I do during the day but you don't need a lot of this. A little bit goes a long way. And this is a little pricey, but it, uh, the ColourPop lip, lip scrub is not, but this is a little pricey, but I do recommend this. And it's definitely, like I said, worth the price tag also. Next I have, so I got these in a haul that I did. The um, They came in the Paradise Set collection. So I have the Paradise Set and the Paradise Prime by BH Cosmetics. So the, this is the setting spray and it smells amazing and this mist i don't like a violent mist but this mist if you can see it is like i could spray all day and it's just it's so fine and it smells so good i'm gonna add some more just while i'm sitting here why not but i love this it smells like coconut it smells like you're laying on a beach somewhere so i this i definitely recommend and then the hydrating primer is what that looks like it's a thicker gel i'm going to show you on the back of my hand so that's what the gel looks like it's a, a thicker gel but like i said it keeps my makeup on all day it's not oily and it i mean that just soaked into my skin really easily and it, like I said it's not oily it's not thick even though it is a gel it's not thick at all it smells just like it smells just like the um, setting spray like you're laying on the beach somewhere like coconuts and that keeps my makeup on all day it keeps me from creasing I get lines my smile lines because I smile a lot so I have smile lines and uh, my forehead <laughs> lines I get all the time and those keep keep those at bay for I've only worn my makeup I would say at the most eight hours I won't go any more than that but you know um, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to it would last longer than that but I do definitely recommend these and like I said these are very affordable and I'll link everything that I'm talking about down below so you can check it out after the video next so I just got the I've been using this for a month but I don't know why I'm so late on the bandwagon the stay naked weightless liquid foundation and this is what that looks like and I'm in the shade 61 in in this foundation is amazing when it says weightless this is definitely weightless I put this on and immediately you feel like you want to layer more because it feels like you don't have anything on your skin I remember the first time I used it after I put it on I was like wait 
did I actually put it on? But it's really that weightless. Throughout the day, you feel like there's nothing on your skin. There's no caking. There's no buildup. And like I said, you can layer it and it just, it's, it's definitely weightless. I've loved this. I've been wearing this almost every day. This is my go-to foundation right now. Um, it's not, I don't think it, it says up to 24 hour wear and I don't think it it's full coverage. I think it's medium to buildable coverage, which right now, of course for me is all I need. I don't have any breakouts or anything. So this is my go-to on a day-to-day -day basis because it it's just all around amazing and I definitely would recommend this. If you're looking for a weightless foundation, something that's not heavy, it's not like I said, it's not full coverage, but it's not light coverage. It's about a medium coverage and it is buildable. So I would definitely recommend this, the Urban Decay. So, so taking off my makeup, at the end of the day, I have my whole routine, but one thing I like to do is I like to go through and I don't like using makeup wipes because I end up using so many of them because at the end of the day, I mean, I have quite a bit of makeup on. So I go through like two, three, four of them at a time. So I don't like to do that. So what I found is this uh, Physicians Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. And if I open it, it, ha it comes with a little, it comes with a little spatula that you can just scoop some of it out with. And as you can see, I'm like almost out of it. So this is what I use to take my makeup off and it melts my makeup off. Everything, my my mascara, my eyeliner, uh, waterproof eyeliner, all of that stuff. It just, if you, when once you put it on your face, I just rub it in my hands and rub it on my face. It melts all of your makeup off. And then it doesn't feel like after I've taken my makeup off, it doesn't li feel like my face is stripped or dry. My face still feels very hydrated. It kind of feels like I didn't do anything to it. Like I still have my makeup on because it doesn't feel like that I've just stripped all the moisture or oils, oils out of my skin. So this I really recommend. And I, I get this at Ulta. Like I said, but I definitely recommend this because I love this. So that is all of the makeup stuff I have. So next I'm gonna do, I have just some miscellaneous things. So first I'm gonna talk about Frank's Frank Body. The, I think this one's the, yeah, the coffee scrub, cacao coffee scrub. If you have not used a body scrub, this body scrub now i know they come in different scents or different not scents but different um yeah i think it's different scents i have like this is the coffee one but i think they have like a vanilla one they have other types of them any kind of frank body coffee scrub what are you doing this is amazing when i tell you you get out of the shower feeling like your body feels like a baby's bottom it is so smooth and i had an issue with even after I got out of the shower, I had my skin would peel. I had a lot of dead skin. So this is uh, exfoliates my skin. And when I get out of the shower, I feel amazing. And it smells amazing. It smells great. So I definitely recommend if you have not tried a body scrub, go get it. Ulta, go get it and go get it now. Because I cannot say enough good things about this. This is amazing. You will thank me later. I'm, go get it now, right now. Pause the video and go get it. Next, I have some razors. So I just got on the bandwagon maybe two, three months ago, and I was a little leery about shaving my face because you know, you're always told your hair will come back thicker, darker, not the case. But um, I also didn't want to get like my skin to be irritated because I have very sensitive skin. So I recommend the Tinkle Eyebrow Razors. So these I got in a pack of like, I got six packs of them um, and they come in, they come in with three in a pack and I got them off of Amazon. And you, but you can get these razors from, I, they have my Ulta too. Um, and I think you can get them in stores, Walmart. Um, but this is the best razor for shaving my face. It makes my makeup, when, my, when I shave my face, my makeup goes on smoother. My face feels better, smoother, and just everything works better. So I would definitely recommend these razors. If you do, sha if you do shave your face or you plan to shave your face, if you don't, you know, don't go out and get it because I said it. But um, I noticed that a lot of, YouTubers do shave their face. So I thought, oh, I thought I'd try it. And it's the best decision I made because like I said, my makeup just looks so much better on my face, lasts so much longer. And I mean, I'm, I have a lot of hair. So my face, I would get, I mean, I, you know, I had a mustache, I have you know, hair, 
down size but, and you'll be surprised using these just how much hair or peach fuzz is what they call it you do have it's crazy and it's amazing the first time will blow your mind but yes i definitely recommend these next is a hair mask so my hair is uh jet black and of course i do get it dyed but my sister brought me bought me this from target it's the raw sugar healing power um hair mask it says the ultra lush hair mask blends Na na nature's most reparative ingredients to strengthen hydrate and shine for visibly healthier hair this is avocado banana oil coconut milk and agave this is the best best hair mask i have ever used my hair is black is but it's not um jet black anymore this when i get out of the shower i wash my hair and then i put this on and i leave this on for I don't know how long it says to leave it on. I leave it on for, sometimes I forget that it's on my hair and then I have to go back and realize and wash it out. But I think at the most I've left it on like 30 minutes. But when I'm done, my hair looks jet black. It's shiny, it's silky, it's lightweight. It smells amazing, it feels good on the hair. And this is a big bottle and I have like, I'm almost at the bottom of it. But I love, I love this hair mask. Like I said, you can get it at Target and it just replenishes anything that's stripped out of my hair. And it says free of sulfates, parabens, um, and silicones. It's color safe and then it is vegan. So I definitely recommend it. And like I said, you can get this at Target. Last but not least is I have repurchased this. I think this is my fifth bottle of this. And this is the Smart Mouth, um, the original activated dual solution breath rinse, 24 hour bad breath prevention. It says a.m. rinse for all day clean breath and then p.m. rinse eliminates morning breath. Now, I don't know about you, but most people that I know wake up with morning breath. But when I tell you this eliminates that. And when I first tried it, I was like, okay, there's no way that this is actually going to work. But like I said, this is my, I like just bought this yesterday. This is like my fifth bottle of this. I have gone through that many because this breath rinse is amazing. And I get mine at Target. But like I said, if I use it in the morning, it keeps it keeps my breath fresh all day. And then if I use it at night, it prevents me from having morning breath in the morning. And I mean, who doesn't want not to have morning breath in the morning? So I would definitely recommend this because it's also amazing. And like I said, you can get it at Target. So that's it. That's everything that I have for my September favorites. Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great rest of the week and I will see you guys Thursday in my next video.